Many students ask me how should they decide what to listen to or read, right? Often my students worry that they will pick something too easy. But my recommendation is that it's best actually pick something that you can understand without too much difficulty. But that actually should stretch you a little bit. Linguists call this comprehensible input plus one, which they describe as material that is just one level above where you are currently. They believe that the students learn a second language best when they are in a low stress situation and a high uh, interest, like they are interested in, in, in the topic that being discussed. And an easy test of difficulty is whether or not you need a dictionary. You should be able to read and listen quickly with only a few unknown words per page. Because you understand most of the material and you can guess actually the meaning of those unknown words without interrupting yourself. Just keep you know going, you know, because you will eventually encounter those same <coughs> new words again and again and again. <coughs> and when you do that, you will make another even better guess about the meaning. And eventually you will learn this new vocabulary simply by um, enjoying the real English without using the dictionary. So when you listen to a real English materials, you get the real English that's actually used by Americans, Canadians, Australians, British people, and etc. And that's how they really speak. By replacing textbook with these materials, you know, you will be prepared for real world communication. And when someone, for example, greets you on the street, you will understand them. When someone uses a common idiom, you will understand them. And eventually, so you will completely understand TV shows and movies too. So guys, learn real English.